What's up, YouTube? It's Team Place for Days. We back again. Um, we are here with our first place winner, our champion of Indianapolis. Right here, we got Marquise Pulley. What up, though? What up? He won with the Executioners. Go ahead and hit us with that deck profile, man. So my buddy is so cool. It's mirroring, it's mirroring the build that took Worlds last year with just a couple changes. Gotcha. I'll start with my impact monster since my friend so graciously put it backwards. I put it in size order, thank you. Fair enough. So I'll go ahead and start with three Galgarius impact. Give me a second, keep it like right in there for me. You're good. I'll start with three Galgarius, Prison Pyre, Demonic Wave. Very clutch card. Easy to easy to go ahead and set the rush. He's five damage once you set yourself up with 30 cards in the drop zone, which is very easy to do in Executioners. Between paying three for the gate, between milling yourself almost to death, but free five damage, can't beat it. Five crit hurts. I actually play only one Hazel Emperor, Hazel Emperor Jailer, Al King. Scroot. The one of has saved me for I don't know how many times this game, but his effect is an act, mill three, destroy an item, destroy a spell, fuels my drop zone, so I can go ahead and throw him back out if I need to. Or pops anything that isn't great fate. The MVP of the deck, don't care what anybody says. Oh, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to disagree. For, Mc for the kitty, Tempest Jailer, Hell Cougar. Um, this, is the other, this is the counterpart to Muriel in Guardians. Size 2, double attack. Each time it destroys a monster, each time it destroys a monster, deals damage, gain a life, draw a card. This is a different text of that. Instead of the Paradise Lost, I actually play four Wait, Unlocked Eye Hell Geppard. Okay. Due to the fact that you can get up to ten cards your first turn in the drop zone, it hinders wall decks, it hinders Jaeger, taking it down to about 3k defense if you're dealing with Vortice. If you're dealing with Neo Dragons wise, such as, uh, for example, Let's go with the Overex Dimension. It's down to 3k. Easily hittable. On top of that, you get 20 or more. His, he can't be notified of attacking alone. That's two free crits. Plus, it's got move. It's got Soul Guard. It's an evolution. Cards Easy to wall up. Seems good. Sword Edge Jailer Zagulus. Nice body. Easy to crit. One of the Gate Searchers. Same thing with Bruharia. I'm going to be playing eight gate searchers because you need to have the gate in order to start dual toolboxing. Both of them have pretty good body. Both of them have pretty good crit. For the buddy, we got four. We got four Soku. Mill two, draw a card. Very basic, but comes in handy in order to fill the drop zone. In order, to, in order to fill your hand. Two Silhouette Leroy, if you're familiar with Mock Braver, same thing, only it requires four more spells in the drop zone. It's just a redirect, but it does not have to be called to the center, which eliminates your fear of Penetrate. Oh yeah, because Penetrate has been ridiculous today. I have three Headhunt Jailer Psy. When it attacks, mill, both players mill one. If there's 10 or more in the drop zone, forcibly remove a soul from anything on the board. So, Neo Dragon's Y, got Neo Dragon's Y hit this guy. I didn't see Jaeger today, thank God, because I can't deal with Wall right now. <laughs> yeah, Jaeger's tough. I play three, Hellas Fander. It's only 2k. Still dangerous due to the fact that once you get 15 or more, that's four crit. You can't take four. Yeah, it's four crit's too much for any deck to really try and take on, besides why. We have four copies of our gate. It's a must-have in any of the new Guardian execution, or it doesn't matter. If you don't have your gate, your toolboxing is going to be very limited. Gate's ability, mill two, gain a gauge, or use its secondary ability of pay three, Grab an Executioner from the drop zone, and if you have 15 or more in the drop zone, when you do it, draw a card. Easy hand filter, easy way to get back your shields or any of your removal. 
speaking of removal, Infernal Rule. This card has saved me thousands of times. When I get 20 in the drop zone, it pops anything on the board. Normally it would pop a size 2 or lower. Very powerful card. Four copies of Shadow Crusader. Actually, I really don't use this. I'm thinking about changing it to Little Light due to the fact that I start with 8 life. It's a very big deficit. And if I get rushed down and don't have the things in my hand, well, I mean, it is a damage reduction. But with the new stuff coming out that says, oh, you can't, re you can't change your life total, that's a problem. Hmm. Four copies of Damien's Decision. Very standard. Gauge and draw when you mill, t mill two. Make sure there's Executioners in the drop zone. Gauge one, draw one. When don't you have Executioners, though? <laughs> I mean, the whole deck is Executioners. Exactly. <laughs> Four copies of the best shield in the game. Hella Shield. Basic shield can be cast if there's nothing if there's something in the center even. Once you have ten or more in the drop zone, can't be nullified, gains you two gauge. So that's immediate gauge excel. Pays for yourself. If there's fifteen or more in the drop zone, you ping your opponent for one. <laughs> which usually I've taken games with Hella Shield pinging them for at least one. Own style sliding fang. This card is actually really, really important due to the fact that it does not just say to keep it on the field, it nullifies the destruction completely. Yes. So no penetrate, no no removal cards. No spectral strike, even though spectral strike's dead. But yeah. Three demon way Akshigure. Simple draw two. You just mill two. Draw one. Check the drop check the drop for ten cards. Draw another. This card came in clutch many a time. I'm thinking about pay, taking it to four, but I don't feel it's necessary. Three Demon Wage of This Could was either mean? Skull Warrior or an Executioner from the drop zone by paying its call cost. However, it has another ability that will allow for the clutch plays of during the start of your main phase, you can pay two gauge, grab it from your drop zone, and immediately cast it to get out whatever you need from your drop zone. Last but not least, we have two copies of Damage Control. I didn't see this very much, but it did help out whenever I had such things such as a card on my sideboard remove. If there's nothing in soul, ditch it. That's minus four since it was a battle deity robo, or just ditch one to reduce two damage. Moving on to my sideboard, we have two more copies of Alking, mill three, pop a nine more spell. Two copies of Sharpness Field. I'm surprised I didn't see the Super Heron's matchup. And I didn't have to use it against Guardians at all. Man, you missed Mark. <laughs> Two copies of Barbed Wire because I'm really not trying to deal with any sort of, again, Battle Poets, Hero World, Makuro. I don't care what it is. If it's an item, it's getting rusted. Two copies of Remove. This actually helped me out in the... Neo Dragon's Y matchup. Forcibly remove two souls. I see a lot of people playing it, and I don't understand why anybody wouldn't. It's a very powerful card. And then we, then we got our final clutch card. Two copies of Violent Jailer Dogaragon. Ooh. 526, excellent body, size 2, but it has a counter ability of pay gauge, mill 2. Destroy a size 1 or less on your opponent's field at counter speed. Anytime I seen Sphere Cemetery Star Remnant, it was going, it was gone. Get it where it hurts. Yeah, the gauge. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. Thank you very Anything much. Else? Oh, no problem. We appreciate you, sir. Congratulations again. Thank and you much. Again, everybody, this is Team Plays for Days. We'll holla.